Both federal and state rules of evidence protect victims of sexual assault by barring admission of a victim's past sexual behavior. But does this mean that evidence that merely mentions sexual behavior is also barred? State v. Smith answers this difficult question. Ewell Smith was arrested after his wife's 12-year-old granddaughter accused him of touching her inappropriately for several years. However, there was no physical evidence of the abuse. During his criminal trial, Smith sought to introduce evidence that the victim had accused another person of molestation and had subsequently recanted. The court held a hearing outside of the presence of the jury and ultimately decided that there were no prior false allegations of molestation by the victim. Consequently, Smith couldn't introduce this evidence. Smith was convicted and sentenced to three years of imprisonment at hard labor. After serving three months in jail, Smith's sentence was suspended and he was placed on five years probation. Smith appealed to the Louisiana Supreme Court.